you got to be frugal with this because this little damn jar costs twenty dollars. <laughs> What it do, what the business is. <laughs> hey y'all, what's up? It's Soph with Perp by the Curl. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to give you my favorite hair products. Some I have, some I don't have. Let's jump right into it. The first brand that we are going to jump into is Camille Rose. Y'all know if you haven't seen my other video, my backstory on Camille Rose, I thought Sister Girl was high and I was like, let me give it a try. Oh, <coughs> bars. But they are now a staple, okay? I'm talking about moisture. Okay, so one of my favorite products is the Aloe Whip Buttery Gel. And it smells really good. All her products smell good. This is what it looks like on the inside. I love the consistency. It works really well. Uh, of course, coincide with her uh, leave-in. Speaking of the leave-in, Curl Love Moisture Milk. When I say, hey, bae, bae, this is bae. This is bae. All day, every day. I don't care when I run out, I got to cop a new bottle, but I have two bottles in the stash. When she had that 50% off sale, mm-hmm, got to get my coins worth. This leaves your hair super, super moisturized, no matter what. And it basically goes with any other styling product that you choose to use. Next up is that Curlade. Oh. The good old Curlade. Uh, green, it has, has green tea and I think you say it, hopa hopa oil, whatever, don't quote me on that. But I love this. This gives my hair a lot of moisture and I actually use this product on this hairstyle, this twist out, um, super moisturized, highly suggest. The deep conditioning mask. If you want your hair to feel like a peppermint patty, nice and minty, you know, smell real good this right here is a deep conditioner for you this is what it looks like smells so good and it feels real good to your scalp of course it's in her brand it works really well with her other products i'm not giving an extensive review in this video just telling you what some of my favorite products are and why now this is her oud rich infusion moisture treatment y'all this thing saved my hair my hair was brittle at one time and i tried this because it was on sale and i promise you i went and bought another one it was on sale but if i had to buy it for a price i would buy it again because it really softened my hair and just brought it back to life like very much needed she did that get you that a product I don't have pictured because I done scraped and date all up the product out of that is the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Y'all, that right there on a twist out mixed with that Curl Love, that's it right there, boo. Now, this line is bay all day, every day, you know, <laughs> keep them in the rotation. TGIN. I absolutely love their Moisture Rich Shampoo and their Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. These were some of the first, I guess you could say expensive products that I tried and I absolutely love. The product I don't have pictured that I swear by, live by, always suggest to people is their Deep Conditioner. Y'all, when I say my hair was butter baby, it was like butter baby. Uh, between that deep conditioner, I go back and forth between that deep conditioner and the Camille Rose. Like, I gotta have it in my line. I don't have it right now because I ran out because I scraped and baked on that one too. But yes, get you that deep conditioner if you have not tried it. They have sample packs for $2.99. Go ahead and try that. I promise you it will change your life no matter the hair texture. I ain't trying to sell y'all, but I'm just saying 
product is good. Everybody knows the famous, famous, famous trio. From Melanin Hair Care, you have the oil, the leave-in conditioner, and the twisting cream. So, my favorite from this line will have to be the twisting cream. And it's the elongating, it's, mm, it's supposed to elongate your curls. I don't know about anybody else, but it does just that for my hair. And that's the reason that I use it. So I did a semi comparison to another product with my twist. When using this cream, my hair hung a little longer. Um, I like the leave-in conditioner. It smells really good. I don't use it as much. Just depends on what I'm going for. But these products last a very long time. And I just love the oil. Who doesn't love oil for their scalp? Like, it's bomb. Next up is an oldie but a goodie. Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine. This right here, I love using this when I take my twist outs down. Now, you gotta be frugal with this because this little damn jar costs $20. I don't know about you, but I don't like spending my little $20. Okay, not that often. Only got a little bit left in there. But yeah, I love using that. You can use it on your skin, your hair. It's good for all that. Next favorite, the Shea Moisture Strength and Color Care Shampoo. I tried this on a wing because I ran out of my TGIN shampoo. Y'all, this thing here smells so good. And it washes, it makes my hair so soft. It feels so good. It's very rare I can find shampoos that I like. Hence why TGIN is my go-to. But this became a new staple within the past few months. It's, it's like that for my hair. I say try it out. They have sample packets of this too. Nice and soft. You can easily detangle. One of my favorite gels, Uncle Funky's Curly Magic. It's made with aloe vera. Um, it smells good. It has like a sticky, slimy consistency, but it's really good for drying goals. Well, for my hair, I use them on drying goals. Um, I like that it has a great hold. You know, when you want to swoop and do the edges, it has a great hold. Uh, and it's very good for wash and goes. Um, I really like this product when I do use it for wash and goes. Last but not least, we got the Extreme Wet Line Gel. You got the old formula and you got the new formula. These right here, if I want to slick this hair, just, these are my go-to. If I want a quick wash and go that's going to dry in a drop of a dime, go ahead, baby, put this on your hair, okay? You're going to get them curls right and tight. Get you a little oil, get rid of that crunch, definitely. Now, I will say, after a period of time, mixing these products with certain products, you can get a little flake. So just be mindful. You might want to do the test on the back of your hand. It does not always work for me, but, you know... It, it, it works good in your hair. Um, it's a staple. Going to keep it. And I even mixed these products with the Uncle Funkies. And it did pretty good. Those are my favorite products that keep my hair fried, dyed, and laid to the side. Popping as usual. If you use any of these products, please let me know. If you have any product suggestions that I should try, that I should review, um, I'm one of those people I like to stick to my, to my products that I have, but I'm interested in trying new things, please leave it in the comments below. I will be sure to review it. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in my next video.